Hello, I'm here on Shared Seats on this very busy, windy, noisy Friday afternoon. New arrivals, that's what they say. We've come to take your city. We're here to stay. Your politicians are weak and they don't care. We took your corner shops, now we're cutting your hair. Refugees welcome everywhere. Your politicians do not care. New arrivals, that's what they say. We've come to take your city, Scousers. We're here to stay. Now that's if we allow this. If we allow more and more new arrivals to be dispersed in our glorious city, sinking their roots so deep, they're going to be in the driving seat and everything that is rightfully ours will be taken from us, the Scouts' inheritance that's rightfully our children and grandchildren, that will be denied them. Okay, sir, that will be denied them. So, we must put a stop to further the cultural change of our glorious city. We must oppose any more new arrivals being dispersed in our wonderful city. Because if we don't, we will be economically dispossessed. And we will also, long term, lose our unique, our unique, Scouse character, traditions and cultural identity. A lot of people have been in touch with me regarding the various trade uh, Scouses have been involved in in this city since TikTok. But the new arrivals have opened up so many that it's put local businessmen out of, out of business, let's say. You see, there's several reasons for this. The council shouldn't have granted so many licenses, if indeed license is the word and uh, it's licenses they need to open and they have to be granted by the council. If that is indeed the case, then it's scandalous. The council allowing several of these businesses to surround one local scouse business and out, out, out of way. You, you know where to, what I'm talking to, but I, I'll just, I don't want to like be accused of picking on anyone in the sensitive age we live in. So, and also the new arrivals, remember, they've took advantage of our unique fair play Scouse character. Us Scousers, we like to work hard, we like to play hard. We like a pint, we like to watch the football, we like to watch the box. They don't. They're single-minded, right? And sadly, at the moment, we're individualistic and they're communitarian. They're sticking together. They have a united front. That's the problem. We don't have a united Scouts front yet. By all means, let's do what us Scouts do best. And that's work hard and play hard. We're entitled to it. That's what this is all about this is our city right but we need a united scouse front especially at the forthcoming general election where i'll be standing in the constituency of waverty where i'll be challenging paula barker she's a cultural changer she's with the cultural transformation of our glorious city she doesn't care all she cares about is career kick the football that far ahead by the time they catch up with it they're out of business it's someone else's problem right and that seems to be the order of the day with them all so that's what's happened right with a safe trade here in Liverpool where scouts have been put out of business they've been swamped by people open similar businesses that be impossible to compete with right the council shouldn't have been allowed so many to open and, and swamp a scouse business that should never have been allowed and like i've said before the new arrivals they're single-minded in their pursuit and they've took advantage of our good scouse character that's what they've done right they've took advantage of our nice scouse character 
you like to work hard and play hard? Like I've said, they're single-minded and they've got on that, right? It's not our fault, this. This is for us being nice people who we are. They've noticed it and took advantage of it. Of course they have. Because like I've said, we're single. They're single-minded in their pursuit. And the commutarian, whereas we're individualistic. We've got to change that now. We've got to form a united Scouse front where we help one another right across the city because that's what they're doing, the new arrivals. Right, as I've said, once they start sinking their roots in so deep, they're in the driving seat. Right, then we dance to their tune. Right, that's what happens, ladies and gentlemen. It happens the world over. Remember the, the British Empire. When we went to India, did we embrace the Hindu... Muslim culture, of course we did, we imposed our own, right, that's how it goes, and the same will happen with any culture that sinks its roots here in our city, it will do the exact same, and that's how the real world works, that's how it operates, not the fantasy world, refugees welcome, diversity is our strength baloney, right, so as I've said, new arrivals, that's what they say, We've come to take your city, we're here to stay. Your leaders are weak and they don't care. We took your corner shops, we now cut your hair. Refugees welcome everywhere. Like I've said, your politicians don't care. New arrivals, that's what they say. We've come to take your city, Scousers, and we're here to stay. Well, that's if we allow it, ladies and gentlemen. But trust me, the trade I'm talking about that's putting Scousers out of business, that's a prime example of what happens once they sink their roots so deep, they're in the driving seat. And everyone dances to their tune then. And that's just on a small scale. If this is allowed to continue the cultural transformation of our glorious city with continuous and unlimited amounts of new arrivals being dispersed in our glorious city, we will not only lose our unique Scouse character, traditions and cultural identity, we will be economically dispossessed. I come down here, ladies and gentlemen, because I feel I need to. If I don't, no one else will. If no one else will, cultural change will sweep across our city. And like I've said, once the new arrivals are in the driving seat, we dance to their tune. Really, really busy. I hope you're enjoying the lady busker behind me, but it's, it's equally as loud further up the other end, so you have to excuse me. Um, so, as I say, come down here because I care long term for my city and its people. I care that the inheritance is rightfully passed down to its real owners, its rightful owners, our children and grandchildren, not the new arrivals, their children or grandchildren, or children and grandchildren. But remember, like I've said, what's happened, why the successful is the single-minded, communi communitarian, and we've been individualistic. That has to change now. Yes, we can still party hard and we can still work hard, and rightly so with Scousers. But we've got to form a united Scouse front on every level of society. If I've said that right, we have to form a united Scouse front. That's the only way we're going to stop further cultural change of our glorious city and let make these politicians sit up and listen that Liverpool says no. And the first, the beginning of this is the forthcoming general election. Give Joe Owens your vote if you live in the constituency of Waverley. And let's make them sit up and take note. Right? Remember, no to cultural change. Yes to Scouse pride. Shout it out loud, Scouse and proud. Okay, thank you.